हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट हाउ टू हैंडल द कस्टम 404 एरर हैंडलिंग इनसाइड योर एक्सप्रेस एप्लीकेशन सो बेसिकली मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स व्हेन यूजर्स हिट रॉन्ग राउट्स इनसाइड योर एक्सप्रेस एप्लीकेशन सो यू नीड टू बी हैविंग सम काइंड ऑफ मैकेनिज्म इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट देम फ्रॉम सीइंग 404 पेजेस सो वी विल बी डेवलपिंग आवर ओन कस्टम 404 पेज इनसाइड एक्सप्रेस एप्लीकेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल बी इनिशियलाइजिंग अ न्यू express instance here requiring the express and starting the express server so this is a simple way by which you can just initialize express inside your node application so we can just listen on a port number let's suppose 4000 so inside this we can console log that app is listening on port 4000 So now you have your express server so if i check the console you will see this is app li is listening on 4000 so if i just show you if i type here localhost colon 4000 so this is a simple route so it doesn't get the home let me just have a simple route to it app dot get so when we hit the home page we will return a simple response back to the server that is response dot send uh hello world so now if i refresh it you will see that it is showing me hello world but now if i go to a wrong route here which i doesn't configure here let's suppose slash youtube if i uh, enter here so you will see this uh, cannot get slash youtube so this this will come with every route so you will see cannot get slash so in these kind of situations you want a custom 404 error page which will every time appear when a user enters a wrong route so you have seen inside these modern web applications so if you go to internet so if you type any sort of wrong url you will get a 404 page here so the same kind of functionality we we also need to integrate inside our application so for doing that we will be writing a custom 404 page So first of all I need to remind you of the source code so if you want the source code you can go to the video description and there you will find my blog here so if you go to the video description you will be redirected to the blog here let me just show you so here you will get the all the source code so let me just show you all the step by step instruction is given to you so this will be the 404 page we will be building in this tutorial so it is just some html and css code so go to this blog and simply copy paste the code and now let me just show you so first of all we need to configure it inside your express application for doing that we will initialize app dot get and now inside this we will pass star symbol and then again request response and now we can send out response dot send 404 page so basically star here rep represents all the wrong routes which can be opened by the user so star is the ultimate thing so now basically if i refresh it now now if i go to a let's suppose a route which is not configured inside the application let's suppose slash youtube and now instead of giving you cannot get slash it will give you this error which is 404 page so every time you open a wrong route let's suppose i change this to this one again this page will be opened here so this is more user friendly so now instead of loading this uh, static text we can open a file here by using send file button and here we can provide directory name dir name and then we can concatenate the address we will create 404.html so in this html file we will write our custom 404 page so i will just simply copy paste the code from my blog here so as this is not html video so i will copy paste the code so basically this is a template you can replace with your website name but the rest of the things will remain constant this will go to the home page which is slash and here you can replace your your web website contact support so now if i simply refresh it you will see a custom 
four pages ready here so you will see if i minimize oops 404 not find it has got a nice background sorry an error has occurred requested page not found if i click this button take me home it will redirect me to the home page again if i enter a wrong route you will see if i click contact support it will redirect to your website in this case my website so this was a page guys you can even customize this also by using a egs library so egs is a template engine i have already installed it so i can set this by passing like this after you initialize your app app.set view engine and then you can pass ejs so here you can change this uh, function to be response dot render and here we can pass here 404 and also you can pass some properties also title let's suppose you can dynamically pass the title let's suppose 404 page like this so we can create this page simply again inside this uh, for this we need to create a views directory so inside views uh, sorry we need to create another directory so this needs to be outside inside the root folder so here we need to create it views so inside the views we need to create this 404.ejs so again we will copy paste the code here and simply where we have the title we will replace so let's suppose here we will replace it in 404 page so here you can simply write the syntax is equal to title so whatever title you pass here will be replaced by this variable so we are passing the title to be 404 let's suppose I remove this so it will be rendered out 404 so now if I refresh it nothing will be changed you will see the same result is coming here because we have passed this title which is 404 if I change this title let's suppose to some something else so you will see that so you can fully customize this template so in this way you can handle the custom errors 404 page in node.js and express without having to install any uh, third party dependency so thanks very much for watching this video go to the video description to get all the source code and i will be seeing you in the next video